Hey guys, what's up? It's Laszlo from Laszlo's Vintage BBG. Just wanted to start off by saying Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's another beautiful day out here in SoCal. Um, I wanted to share with you because they say Thanksgiving's for sharing. My 54 barn door bus, it's a MO35, which means it's a rear opening hatch, which is a pretty rear barn door. Um, you might have seen a couple little videos online about it and some stuff, but not too much. But um, well, here we go. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. Well, here she is. Once again, she's a 1954 barn door. Um, I've had her for about two years now when I got her. She was a rolling shell, meaning, you know, she wasn't running, wasn't driving, none of the windows were in there, anything. Um, the wiring wasn't done, any of that. All that had to be done. Um, I bought her from a buddy up north in Oregon. Um, she had all the body work done. A lot of the panels were changed and, you know, they had that funky green metal. So I did have to do some flatina, like on the front nose right here. All that was done. But um, let's get her out so we can get a better look on her. Make sure she clears the roof. Sometimes she hits right there. Plus also, want to take her for a nice little drive today, hopefully, because of Thanksgiving, get her out, you know, and you got to keep driving them. You can't just leave them hiding. So um, some of the cool stuff. This bus is an original safari window bus, you know, and People say original safari and this and that, but with a barn door, a lot of people don't know. The original safaris on barn doors, the bolts are drilled all the way through to the other side. One of the really cool things about it too, is that there's actually a little spacers in between the metal of the body panel, because if you just tighten these up, you would just squash it. Um, the newer, on newer buses, meaning non-barn door, so 55 and up, there would be a piano hinge in here that's actually screwed to the body in here. So being a barn door, completely different. Um, my whole goal with this bus is enjoy it, have fun with it, drive the you-know-what out of it. But um, we'll do a quick walk around, okay? Um, this bus, when I got it, was this color, this lighter green up here the whole thing and that's the color it was delivered when it was sent from germany to portugal this is what they call a portuguese mo35 so they special ordered the buses back then for customers because over there what they would do is send them buses the customer could ask for whatever they wanted they could pop windows in the side they could do this and when i say pop them in i mean pressed in from the factory in portugal the volkswagen factory but 92 percent of all the buses that were sent to portugal came with safari windows and the rear opening hatch so we'll get to that um coming around the side this green color on the bottom the darker green is actually i believe it's off of a 54 oval window that I picked out. I think it's Java green, maybe. Um, press bumper bus, of course, front and back. Um, coming around the outside. Um, these are some custom wheels that I made in here. A buddy of mine who does a lot of my work, his name is Jason, he works at Busworks. One of my other buddies made this. If you can look, these are the rough off of a speedster then these are normal empty just regular for say uh aluminum wheels we hand beat these and match this to this these rims right here are actually just super cool this bus is lowered um going down the side semi fours um this bus only came out with one pop-out window also being early barn door 
this is gonna be, I believe, don't kill me if it's not, but I believe correct glass. I did a lot of research to make sure. Um, and you can see 90% of the glass I have is the correct glass. Some are not. This pop-out window is not correct. And this was already on it. I didn't do this pattern, but I was like, hey, when I got the barn door, let's do it. This is my club that I'm in representing uh, Rip Chris. Rip Javier also, unfortunately. Couple, we lost a couple members this year. Um, coming around the back, you can see the back of it. That's my business name, Vintage BBG Laszlo. Official Mafia staff car, pretty cool license plate. Once again, ripping the club. Um, what was cool when I got this is these were all the stickers that came from Germany on here. I did put the Soto on there, but the rest, when I got this bus, that glass had that on there. So I love, you can see about it in Germany and these stickers and stuff. I don't know if this window came with this bus, but this window was from Germany and I love this. So once again, here's the reason why this is the MO35 opening rear hatch. As you can see, if you know barn doors, that does not open on barn door buses, I believe. There's less than 1,500 of them that were made. Um, people are faking them now. There's a lot of buses that you'll see a 23 window with this. No, not made ever. It was faked. Um, if they do say barn door, people always think it's the side doors. It's not. This is why it's called the barn door. If you see how big this rear opening hatches you can see it's almost three feet long and goes down to the bottom so we'll open that up one of the other cool things i have the original license plate front and back from when the bus was in portugal let me get this open as you can see how much room you have when you're working on these i mean i'm a big dude you can climb all the way in there and do all the work which is amazing it's beautiful gas tank is in the back also right here um looks like a smaller gas tank but it's actually pretty wide um down here crank start apron this motor is a 1641 single putt single port I had straight cut gears in it. I did a little bit of a racy, um, did a throwback on it to make it look like um, more of something you'd find in the late 70s. Um, it's got a Denzel Speedwell pulley, uh, Speedwell air cleaner. I did do the electric distributor underneath. We have also custom valve covers. I've done inside here these are not stock to the bus these were custom made and i had them also honeycombed out and the reason why i did that if you look at all the buses here they have these right here where they've been beveled and so i wanted to bring that in also that comes all the way up here so to me that was pretty bitching to be able to have that and drag that in i also did down here on the bottom if you can see down there to help release some of the hot air from the motor um spare tire that goes here gas goes here original gas cap now to close it it's pretty cool you just push up push in also a lot of people know about third brake light deck, deck lids this is one of the original third brake light deck lid but it's only this was the only brake light not these other two but in california i have them set up so there's more safety because i like to drive it you know and have fun so we're gonna close this rear hatch similar to a hatch that would be on a later bus like a 55 but just smaller and custom coming around this side little bit more of the bus all this down here was repainted the rockers had been done in the funky green metal the whole nose um, if I can remember this part right here was also done in the funky green metal 
And so a lot of it's been faded in to the original paint on the top you can see and down here. I try to keep it mostly as original as possible. Um, another cool thing is right here. This is where your lock would be is inside there to open this. We'll see if I can get this open. I did a pretty crappy job of not parking it good. Um, I did full interior on this. Once again, you can see the custom made stainless steel with the impressions. I brought that from the back of the bus and brought that into the inside of the bus. This is all nice black vinyl coming across. There's Gumby. I don't smoke weed, but if you do, it's all good. Um, down here on the bottom, that's the kick pan for the bottom of the back seat. As you can see, the aluminum on it has been etched. So I thought that would be cool to drag that all the way around with aluminum here. Also did some very nice aluminum pieces up here to do a match. So when I was telling you about the windows, this bus was shipped from Germany to Portugal as a panel van. But if you look right here, see how these windows are? They're not cut like what you would see in like a camper van. They're actually pressed in. So this bus went to the Portuguese factory as a panel. They then press these windows in, same over there, to make it a combi. So the customer could say, hey, I want no windows. I want a few windows. I only want this. Um, and so that's pretty awesome. Even on the cargo doors, too, they did that. Um, like I said, been working on this for a while. So doing some work. Still got some work to do. Um, up there, did a cool little head banger just so you could put some stuff back up there. But you can see the platform of a barn door bus. See how high it is and down? So all that work, you have all that space in there to work on your stuff. To me, it's like beautiful. Also, full headliner. I'm going to go around to the other side because I have more space there. Because I'm a big dude. Oh. Coming around. This is the interior. This is all um, original style material for the front and for the back. And then I copied that as best as I could um, on all the door panels, all the kick panels, all the way around. Um, I've done a lot of upgrades. Um, one starting with a very nice Jeanberg shifter. Um, that's a real Porsche 356 Pre-A, I believe, steering wheel. The dash pod that I got, when it came with it, that's chrome, and then that's dub blue, so you can obviously see that's not the original one. I don't think they ever came chrome. Um, over here, St. Christopher, I always try to have somebody to protect us. Up there in the top, the one to the left, that's from my mom who passed away. The one to the right is from my buddy Chris who passed away. Um, let's go around the other way and see what we got. This is from Octo. This is the Barn Door Gathering Show. So I put that up there because I was and I did attend to that. This is an original Volkswagen sticker, not a copy off eBay. So here's a little bit more. In most barn door buses, they do this standard material on the inside of the cab. And then from the bulkhead back is where it would get custom. So we'll hop in. We'll see if we can get her started up. Um, this was just a cool badge. A buddy of mine pointed out to me that was on sale on the Samba. So I bought that and put that in here. Um, here's a nice shot of the 356 steering wheel. A little dusty. The Speedo. She hasn't been started in about a week, so let's see what we can do. Um, cool thing, key, you can see it light up right here. This is push button start. I always make sure it's out of gear and we'll try to get her started. Give her some gas. So she is a little rowdy, meaning that she likes to rev up pretty high. Plus she hasn't been started in about a week. So I always like to give her a little run through first. Make sure she's good. A couple little touches I did just because I like to do stuff. Is I saw this as some stickers so I got that, put it on here. Um, 
rear view mirrors. A lot of buses, especially barn doors, didn't have rear view mirrors, especially panels or single cabs. This is an early accessory mirror, and I can try to show you. It bolts right on. There's a bolt for it. Um, very rare, very hard to find. The only thing I don't like is that the glass had been maybe changed at one point to a tinted glass. There's the St. Christopher. That was a cool little accessory right there. It's an ashtray. I don't smoke, but I just thought it was cool. I do have some for charging points. This is a grab handle. Cool little footrest down there. We'll do another quick walk around and then I'll let you guys go. Wow, come on. be good now or not like I said she's a little rowdy she takes a little while to warm up because of that cam that I have in it the straight cut gears there we go so coming up here is the safari windows super cool they just come open I have them too tight right now you know I do this from the fly I don't edit I just do what I gotta do so it's taking a little while sorry not sorry so love to take her I'm gonna take her out hopefully today for a little drive but uh, once again you guys please like and subscribe I'm trying to get to 200 followers here I know it's not a lot man but I'm doing this for fun because life's not always easy man and if Volkswagens make your day just a little better love them they love you have fun with them enjoy them do whatever you got to do man to keep yourself healthy mentally physically whatever you got to do but uh enjoy your guys's thanksgiving here's a quick little walk around into my garage full of carbon monoxide now it for me once again please like and subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get to 200 followers um, peace out